Hi guys, I'm Ashley from Mom Life Crisis. I have had a million people asking me to give the recipe and show how to do this butterfly effect can salsa. It's seriously gold. It's so yummy. So, I'm going to show you. First, I'm going to show you the things that you need to get started and then I'll show you the process. So, before you start, make sure you're all prepared. You've got your recipe, a big stock pot. I would recommend one with a thick bottom. Can you see that? It helps so that your salsa doesn't burn. The smaller jars. Not the big ones, the small ones. Quart, quart size. It lids and bands. Lids and bands. Some funnels. If you find a canning kit, you can order them online. They're really cheap. But they have all sorts of tools. This little doodad will pick the lids up out of the hot water for you. Nice, right? And then this little thing picks up the jars when they're hot. You're also gonna need a water bath. It has that thing, and you'll fill it with water um, to process the jars. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The other thing that you'll need is a couple of large bowls and just kind of a bigger pot. This is for parboiling and skinning the tomatoes. A large slotted spoon. I also like to use wood spoons for my stirring, but I broke both of mine, so I'll be using this. And I'll wash it, because it's not going to Then I like to get a camp chef all set up in my garage, because it gets really smelly and makes my whole house smell. So I'd rather cook it outside. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your jars loaded into your dishwasher. You want them on the sanitized mode and you want them hot when your salsa is ready. So get them loaded and then you'll time it about right when to start it. Hopefully they'll finish about the same time as your salsa or a little bit before. Okay, I've got my workspace cleaned up. Everything else might not be, but my workspace is cleaned up and my jars are loaded. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the recipe. Twenty four large to thirty small tomatoes. If I have small ones like this, I'll do like a handful and that'll equal one. So when I'm counting, that's one. Four green peppers. I love the taste of the Anaheim peppers, so I like to throw those in, um, but I'll just substitute some of the bell out and some of this pepper in. Four onions, garlic salt, crushed red pepper, vinegar, and sugar. You can also add cloves of garlic if you want it to be more garlicky. You wanna to pick tomatoes that are ripe to a little bit underripe. You do not want overripe tomatoes or have a bunch of cracks or bruises because that's going to introduce bacteria into your canning. Um, I know a lot of people use them and cut them off. I prefer not to. So I pick tomatoes that don't have any cracks or bruises. But this is the reason I love Amish paste aroma because they're so big. They're aroma, so they're really meaty, but they're just so big. But they don't produce very many tomatoes, so you either have to do a lot of those plants or a few and just add them into your salsa. I do a variety, obviously. We'll start over here with our water bath. We're gonna put tomatoes in the water bath. We have an ice bath next to it. You're gonna wait for the skins to crack. Okay, see that, how the skin has cracked? We pull it out, put it straight in the water bath. Then I put more in, and while I'm waiting for those to boil, I move these over into a colander. So now you've got your tomatoes. You're gonna peel the skin off. I have a garbage bowl. Then you're going to cut out the top. Cut it, cut it. Cut it. They can be big chunks because it's going to cook down. Cut off that bottom part. And depending on how chunky you like it, you can cut these thicker or smaller. I've done some super chunks that are real big. This is uh, still chunky, but not crazy. And if you want it really thin, you can put them in a food processor um, and cut them up that way. I don't like mine that thin. See that one bell is almost one and a half cups. 
you're gonna want about six to eight cups of pepper. So if you're changing your peppers, um, if you're putting in Anaheim or jalapeno, just make sure that the quantity equals about six to eight cups. And then your four onions. Up. And try not to cry. Recipe calls for an eighth a cup of sugar. I like mine kind of sweet, so I do a fourth cup of sugar. Okay, now you're gonna cook it. Once it starts simmering, you'll cook it for two and a half to three hours, stirring every five minutes. You don't want it on a crazy boil, or it'll burn on the bottom. You just want it at a good simmer. I keep my temperature right there. Sometimes lower, depending. Some people like theirs thicker. I like mine fairly thick, but not like ketchup. But this is about how I like it. Once it reaches the consistency you want, so it's been two and a half hours for me. So I'm gonna take this off. I am using this metal spatula now because it started sticking to the bottom. You don't want that to happen or you'll have burned salsa in all your jars. And I totally forgot I was wearing this. We were having a tea party because um, that's the only thing you can do in between every five minutes of stirring salsa for hours and hours. Got my water bath boiling. My lids are starting to boil. My salsa's ready. My jars are ready to be filled. So with each of these, you want about a thumb space from the top to the salsa. That's how full you want them. I'm gonna take these jars and a clean, wet paper towel, and I'm gonna wipe them down so that the lids stick. I'm gonna take a hot lid, I'm gonna place it, screw it, and it's ready for the water bath. So they're all in the water bath. <laughs> They're going in for 20 minutes. Okay, so timer went off. We're gonna pull these up. When they're done, they're gonna make that sound. That was good timing. The next morning, I fill the lids. Don't touch the top of the lids until the next morning when they're all cooled. I fill the top of the lids. If there are any that have not sealed, put them in your fridge and use them within a week, but usually they all seal. I've never had any not seal. I am 44 jars of salsa in, and I will probably make 30 more. That's crazy. I don't wanna have enough to give away. So there you go, that's how you do it. And now I'm going to shower. Thanks for watching. If you end up making this salsa, put down in the comments how many jars you made so we can see how far this salsa goes.